So it's been a few days since Diddy came out and put out a video apology, which I label as a statement because it just felt disingenuous to me. But it's been a few days since he put out a statement apologizing for assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. The world seen the video when it was posted to CNN last week during a broadcast. It showed the mogul doing the unthinkable, dragging his ex-girlfriend, dragging her to the ground by his hand and stumping her with his feet and then dragging her several feet away from the elevator as she tried to escape barefooted. In the hallway at the Intercontinental Hotel in Los Angeles back in 2016. Now this video footage went worldwide and everyone at this point has decided to cancel Diddy and all of his business ventures have basically dissolved due to this situation. During his statement, and I'm gonna say statement because I don't view it as an apology, he basically said that he apologized for what we've seen as a public, not actually addressing Cassie directly. Well, TMZ is explaining why he decided not to do that was allegedly due to an ironclad NDA that he that both he and Cassie Ventura signed when they settled their lawsuit at the end of last year in November. Now, most of you guys remember Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs with claims of grape abuse and additional accusations. Okay. Um, now in the lawsuit, she claimed that this incident happened and people didn't believe her. Now let's get into why Diddy didn't say her name. This is the biggest thing in regards to this apology that he put out is that he didn't directly address Cassie and say, I am sorry to you, Cassie Ventura for assaulting you back in 2016. And although we settled this lawsuit. I know that I was wrong, right? That's what we would have expected, but he didn't directly say anything to her. TMZ stated the reason why is because allegedly they signed an ironclad NDA where neither parties can speak on each other publicly after settling the suit. Now it states as quoted sources familiar with the agreement in their lawsuit told TMZ it includes a very strict NDA which prevent both of them from speaking about each other in public. We're told Diddy's attorneys very closely reviewed his video apology before it was posted for a couple of reasons. First, they needed to make sure it was in compliance with the NDA, meaning absolutely no mention of Cassie's name, even though they claim Diddy wanted to say her name. Now let's not pause and say, oh, he must have been truly sorry because we have to rewind back in December when he put up this statement on Instagram, flat out seemingly denying the lawsuit that was filed by Cassie. He put in quotes that it was allegedly a money grab. Now I'm gonna read this to you guys so you can be reminded of the statement that he put up because this is the problem, right? My main issue in regards to this situation is the fact that it's not about the NDA. If that's legally what it is, that's what it is. That doesn't take away the fact that the apology was very disingenuous in my opinion. It seemed as if it was a PR organized apology. And that is something that was basically just confirmed with this statement from TMZ. But we have to remember that even if he was sincere with his apology today, back in December on the 6th, he put up the following statement, misinforming the public, stating that Cassie was basically lying, seemingly suggesting so in the following statement. He said, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payout. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. This is a statement that he put out. So since then, Cassie's lawyers came and spoke out and responded to Sean Combs' statement. And I'm calling it a statement because to me it wasn't an apology. They said... 
Cone's most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. When Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. That he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false. This shows his pathetic desperation and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. And this is from her lawyer, Meredith Firetalk. So, you know, this is a whole lot going on in regards to Diddy and this apology that no one is buying. Since then, there has been several people speaking out on multiple platforms discussing that they've bear witness to him allegedly abusing his girlfriends. Now, the in particular person that I'm speaking of is his bodyguard, Roger Bonds. He came out with a statement claiming allegations that he physically seen Diddy assault the late Kim Porter. Now, Kim Porter had three children with Diddy, and she also had a previous child with the singer I'll Be Sure that Diddy adopted named Quincy. Now, in Roger Bond's statement, he said that he witnessed Sean Diddy Combs physically assault women around him, including Kim Porter and Cassie, where he had to intervene, allegedly, and stop the beatings. He stated that he tried to help Cassie on various occasions and even tried to plan a way for her to escape. Now, in regards to the Kim Porter situation, he made a statement claiming that he's seen them fight several times, stating that he's seen Diddy allegedly grab Kim Porter up and smack her around him several times. In his statement, he made one uh, account that they were outside on Sunset Boulevard outside the Beverly Hills Hotel when the car that they were in began to shake. He said that he was standing outside of the car and of course he thought that there was some domestic violence going on with Diddy laying hands on her. So he opened the door to assist. He stated that at that time, Kim Porter stepped out of the vehicle and fixed her hair. And allegedly she stated, I want to see you explain to the media the scratch I'm going to put across your face if you put your hands on me again. And he stated this on Pierce Morgan's show, um, basically explaining that Kim Porter allegedly began to get tired of Diddy putting hands on her. And she decided to fight back, um, as their relationship progressed over the years. So there's so much news coming out in regards to Diddy. And it's just like, I'm not even shocked anymore at this point. I, it just continues to pile up, but I am, it, a part of me is just astonished that one person could have caused so much harm to so many people because there's so many lawsuits piling up with alleged victims claiming that he abused them in some form or fashion, took advantage of them, you know, and there's so much more to uncover. In my next video, I will discuss it because there's so much more, but I want to hear your thoughts in regards to the information that I've uncovered so far. Um, are you guys even shocked about what was stated by Roger Bonds? Now, what, what Roger Bonds stated actually... Uh, corroborates with a statement from his bodyguard, Gene Dill, you know, basically saying that he, he's seen things and he heard around people that he was allegedly putting hands on Kim Porter. Um, so that's an interesting situation. I want to hear your thoughts about it and tell me, you know, do you guys think that Diddy will eventually be arrested for his crimes because currently, which is so shocking after he assaulted Cassie, it was revealed by the LADA that they could not place charges on him because the statute of limitation 
had expired. However, I've seen many other media platforms suggest that he could have gotten other charges that had not expired in the statute of limitations, including kidnapping, because in the video, you see Cassie running down the hallway barefoot and trying to put her shoes on to get on the elevator and escape. And then he followed up and dragged her to the ground and did those horrific things to her. And after he attacked her, he dragged her back into the hallway, which looked as if he was dragging her back into the hotel, you know. So that right there, many people in I've seen on social media, including a judge and an attorney analyzing the situation, said that that could be considered kidnapping based off the textbook definition in criminal law. So there is a lot that's going on, and, and many people are just questioning why, you know, you know, he couldn't be criminally charged. Well, that is allegedly the reason that they stated. I'm pretty sure there's more to come because like I said, he did have his home graded back at the end of March. And there was a lot of information that was taken from his house, which include, um, they said it included like computers and stuff like that, hard drives that included, um, video footage and stuff like that. And the reason why people are wondering, they're, they're suggesting allegedly, and this came from Paris Hilton in the actual lawsuit. If you read it, um, it says that Cassie stated that Diddy paid $50,000 to get rid of that video footage of him assaulting her in the hallway and paid the staff at the enter the continental hotel to prevent this video footage from seeing the light of day. Well, Many people believe due to the raids, the feds got access to the footage and seen it, and they allegedly sent it to CNN, which is an interesting theory. Then there was another theory that was put out by People Magazine claiming that the staff actually gave Cassie a copy of the footage as well. Either way, I'm glad that the footage leaked. Uh, and it was posted and I want to say leaked. I'm glad that the footage was handed over so the world could see exactly who Sean Diddy Combs actually is and what he has done. Um, because a lot of people did not believe Cassie when she came up with her lawsuit. Like he said, you know, he, he basically made a statement denying it, saying people just wanted his money and it was a money grab basically. So I will be talking more about this. I want to do a deep dive in regards to all of the controversy surrounding Diddy and all of the controversial headlines and news that has surrounded him over the years. But outside of that, I want to hear your thoughts. Um, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. This is the DJ Jerrica podcast where we talk about entertainment news and world news.